Hey guys, I have two ColourPop palettes for you today that are currently, well at the time of me filming this anyway, they're only available on the Ulta website, but they're supposed to be on the ColourPop website soon. So it is the Wannabe and the So Fly. So a bee themed one and a dragonfly themed one. Um, I thought these looked super cute. Not even sure what colors are in here. I just grabbed them when I saw them. So um, none of the colors in here have the asterisks, asterisks on the back and none of the ones in so fly. So these are all, none of them say, not intended for use in the immediate eye area. So we'll do the wannabe first. This, oh, this is pretty. Another pretty neutral um, color story from them, but it has this nice kind of pinky champagne color in there that I like. Inside looks like that. I'm not going to zoom, zoom in too, too far because I don't want to throw the white balance off. I'm trying to get used to that with this ring light still. But um, we have Pollen for You. This is a... Oh, that's really soft. This is a matte cream color. More like a peachy cream. I grabbed way too much of it, but that's what that one looks like. Grab a wipe. Um... Honeycomb. This color is really pretty. I'm excited to swatch it here. This is a light peach with like a gold shift when the when the light hits it. Kind of iridescent almost. That would make a really pretty highlighter shade. It's kind of hardly packed in there though. There we go. That's a little bit better. Then we have to be, look, I made a mess with that one. Knock it off into the trash there. <gasps> I got that first color all over the brown one and didn't realize it. Um, to be, this is a matte pale yellow color. Again, I grabbed way too much of it. So that's the, that is the first row. Okay, then the second row we have Buzzed. That is a matte pale orange color. Sweet Much is a metallic, very light yellow gold. It's almost like a white gold, but it definitely has that yellow tint to it. Very shiny. Um, Worker B. That is a matte, very similar to this first color, but a little bit more brown. It's more of a beige color than an orange. We have O Beehive. This is a metallic orangey brown, almost like a burnt orange color, I'd say. And it has, it seems to have tiny little bits of silver sparkle in there. Then we have So Nectar. That is a really pretty metallic orangey color. It's almost like a metallic peach, but leaning more toward orange. And then Beezy is this really dark matte brown. It's more of like a reddish brown. So that is the Wannabe palette. That one's... I like the color story because it is neutral, but it's got a couple of... I think because of this pinky peachy color and then this orangey one, it makes it not so boring. It's got a little pop of something different in there. So I like that palette so far. And then we have So Fly. I really like the, the dragonfly on this one. I always liked drawing dragonflies. I don't know why. They're just fun to draw. <laughs> but anyway, this is this one see what this one looks like. And this is much less neutral. That's what the inside looks like. Um, it's got some more fun colors in here. This, 
I'm telling you lately, every time I get something from ColourPop, something is looks like it's been touched or is a mess. This one looks like it's all scraped up. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. See, it just looks like something was in it or touching it or something. I don't know. Let's just get to swatching it so this video doesn't take forever. This first one is called Flight Path. That one seems kind of dry, but that is a really light, light pink. A metallic pink. It's not incredibly pigmented, but my hand is turning all red from wiping these off. Um, Skydive. That looks like another one that's not going to be very pigmented. It's slightly darker than that first one. It's more of a peachy. Yeah, these two are kind of, they have that almost creamy feeling to them, like the kind that doesn't want to pick up good on a brush, but they're also pretty sheer. So those are the first two colors. Um, Dragon Tail. Remember the Dragon Tails cartoon? I used to love that and I was way too old to be watching it. Um, this is a really light, uh, like a pale mauve. So these three, this is a nicely, nice and smooth matte, but it's kind of light to see. I guess you can kind of see it on my skin tone. So that's the first row. They're all very light colors. Second row, we have Speedy. This is a matte peach and it has tons of little teeny tiny micro sparkles that are silver. That's a pretty color, I like that. Pretty unique. Um, FYI, this color looks cool. This is like a super reflective teal, but it's got a pink base to it. Not teal, more of like a turquoise when the light hits it, but when the light's not hitting it, it looks pink. Almost like a rosy undertone to it. That's a really cool color. It's got a nice shift to it. Then we have Colorful, which is this matte salmon color. So that is the middle row. It's almost like a coral, but it's too pale for me to call it coral. <laughs> that might be how they describe it on their site, I'm not sure. I should have my phone next to me and I always forget to grab it and bring it with me, but it's fun to try and describe the colors myself here. Um, Depart is this dark matte brown that looks like it has been touched or scraped. Um, it's just a matte, kind of cool toned brown. Actually, now that I'm swatching it, it looks more warm toned, so sorry about that. <laughs> and then wingtip is this really pretty metallic teal. So this is another one that has that creamy feel to it that just wants to wants to grab onto my fingertip instead of actually coming off and swatching. Um, and then the last one is Damselfly. This is a matte, cool toned brown. So that is the last row. I actually like those three together. Those go really nicely together. Um, but I think my favorite in this palette was this nice peach with the silver sparkle in it. I really like that. I always am a sucker for the ColourPop matte shades that have the micro glitter in them. I just really like those. Um, so that is the So Fly palette. Um, I think color wise, I like this one better, but performance wise in the swatches at least, because I haven't used these on my eyes yet, I liked these better because these were just better quality overall. But they're both really pretty palettes. Um, like I said, Probably by the time I get this up, they'll be on the ColourPop website, but as of right now, they're just an Ulta exclusive. I don't know why they do that, especially when they're going to sell them on the ColourPop site anyway, but 
that is that. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I will talk to you in my next one.